Hi, my name is Gary Gillette with Mudhole Custom Tackle, and today I'm going to show you how to install your new rod skins. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the circumference of the blank so we can evenly install the rod skins. We're going to take half inch masking tape and we're going to wrap it around about an eighth inch to a quarter inch away from where the end of the rod skins will be. We'll make one pass with the masking tape on each end of where it's going to be installed. Once we have that done, what we're going to do is going to go ahead and cut these out and apply them to the rod skins. We're going to take the blade to the area of the masking tape where we doubled it up. That way we do not score the blank itself. Be careful to make sure that you install the tape at the top section of the rod skins where you want the top section of the rod skins to sit. Okay. Once we have the tape installed, I'm going to go ahead and put mark the top from the bottom. That way it's just as an easy reminder when you go to install it that you don't install it backwards. Now that we have the tape here, we can go ahead and we're going to make a mark with the sharpie where we're going to make our cuts. Now this mark is going to be at an angle because it's going to make up for the difference of taper on the blank. Do the same thing on both sides. Once we've got our marks there, we can go ahead and cut the piece. I'm just going to use a regular razor blade. We're going to cut on the outside of the Sharpie line to give us a little room for play on the seam. Once we got that done, I'm going to go ahead and leave our tape on there until we've got it completely installed, just so we do not install it backwards. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and apply it. We're going to peel off the adhesive backing, and we're going to center it up to the middle of the reel seat. Once we have it all laid out and centered up, we're going to take it and just run our finger up the middle and then slowly work out one side of it. Make this a nice and slow process, avoiding all bubbles. Lay down the seam, and then go ahead and work on the other side. At this point, before you go ahead and close up that seam, you can take off the masking tape we were using as reference points.
Once you got that off, you can go ahead and finish your seam. A nice tight seam. You can use some alcohol to get that Sharpie mark we used for our cutting lines off, and then you're ready for finish.